Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode, what could be the very last episode of the Six Sai Bretalu. Yes, possibly. You'll see in the, the thumbnail. <laughs> I am Doey and this is Axis. Hi there, it is, <laughs> it is I. Catch us up, what's going on here? So we were given a sapphire ring last episode and then we ran through a burning house and we found Eleanor and Eleanor turned the ring r red and Oh yeah, she did do that, huh? I actually missed that. Okay, and then um, who, possibly not Putin, Eleanor. Putin, Putin, Putin. Blooded, bloodied person said that everybody here died. Mm -hmm. So and we don't know. So now we're talking to Gold Guy. He's probably gonna bring us around and show us the truth. So go for it. Now, the first question is, am I really a murderer? And to that, the answer is most assuredly, yes. Okay, thank you. You see this man here, dear Reginald? I killed him, stone dead. Are you every single um, servant or? What do you see actually? I... Hmm? Oh, that, is that his red hair on? That might be blood. You mean Reginald? Yeah. Is that that might be that his hair blood? or, or, or blood? Like, I think it's the moment of death because you oh, can see the moment, moment of, yeah, because you can see oh the soldier, sh or, sorry, soldier servant shooting. I've been reading the text so intensely that I did not see <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It wasn't my finger that pulled the trigger, but it was my command. I bet that that scientific room was just him making robots of all these servants. Yeah. They're probably all robots, and maybe that's why they're all just realigning back to their posts at the very end. Mm -hmm. Family as well, you know. Wait, what? Was it your family? Wait, wait, well, who's your family? Family what? Well, Explain El yourself. Eleanor did say that Red, it was his uncle, her uncle, right? Yeah, so. but we don't know the relation of the gold mask guy. So time stopped, we can take our time here. Sixpence is frozen perfectly in time. His face shows disbelief and agony. Wow. The staff member looks grimly dispassionate. He is doing his job without malice or pleasure. <gasps> Can you look at the map? Nope. Oh my gosh, those jerkwads. So it's no longer a sapphire... Tear. Tear. It's a ruby heart. Hmm, given to you by the bloody girl, blessed by Eleanor Bonds. Okay. Oh wow, it teleported us here. All right, what's next? Ah, the heart of the casino, our dear friend Clay. We're gonna go around to every single character right nice. now. Nice. In this scenario, I had him die from a shot of venom from the same spider which would go on to devour his precious oh, wife. Oh, it's the spiders. That's why the servant had to go there to get the spider, spider venom? venom? I thought he was already holding it by the time he went in. Or maybe it was a regular drink and then he put spider venom in it or something. Maybe. Hmm. He did like a drink, Clay, but never when he was working, you know. That's it. That's that's all he's gonna say about the matter. All right. And and this is him just choking. Yeah, he's like hua, hua, hua. the poison has burned the flesh around Clay's Ooh. mouth down to the bone. <gasps> that's horrible. It was a horrific way to die. That is graphic. That's a graphic description. Ew. There is almost a sense of sadness in the lifeless, mechanical eyes of Sixpence's prototype robot. Oh um, it burned the oh, flesh geez. down to the bone. We never got to walk in here. We never saw that. Oh, we did see that scene. Yeah. So fitting. She was so beautiful, Trinity. The moth by moonlight. It was what Clay called her. She loved that name. A moth. So I thought it would very... Uh, nice. <laughs> That's so, so I thought it very fitting for her to be eaten by my giant spider. Good. I never had one. You know, I'm sure nothing could possibly grow that big, but by gods, I wish they did. I would have kept it in a room just like this one. What hmm, What does that mean? So does that mean the spider... Up? Yeah, did he concoct that? He controls this world, right? So this is all just an illusion? Like, did not, none of them actually die like this? Maybe they all just died in a fire why did regularly she, why and did then... Why only she get the spectacular monster? I don't know. You cannot imagine the terror she must have felt, bound in thread and waiting for the end. Right? She didn't die right away when oh. the spider, spider first attacked her. Oh my god. She got wrapped up and then died. That, that a is, creature from a nightmare. That is terrifying. Can you imagine? Yeah. Just like waiting. And she can't see, so she doesn't even know what's getting her. This is horrible. This one was rather fantastical. When we found that fish, I did so want to believe the stories. A voodoo fish. Okay, so none of this was real. He just constructed all of this. 
I rather suspect it was just a guppy with some particularly bright colors. The man who sold it to me must have thought I was the most gullible person under the sun. The man who sold it to you? Is it real? Is this fake? But I wasn't paying for the fish, I was paying for the story. Eleanor called me a fool, but she did love to watch him in his tank. Hmm. Best fortune I ever spent. I'd like to say that Willow would never have hanged herself, but then a long time ago I stopped even trying to pretend I could understand what, what another person might do. What? Oh my god, I've got chills right now. This is all so creepy and sad. Willow's face is contorted in agony. At one point, you thought this creature held the answers, but he is just a fiction, a boogeyman. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hey. Holy cow. Miss Tequila Bell, what a voice. She was a work, she was a working live of art. Yes. She was a living work of art. I murdered her with the notes of a song and then had my staff throw her body down a garbage chute. That's all he's gonna say about that? Okay, sure. See you later. <laughs> that really is all he's gonna say. The staff member appears to be taking a certain amount of pride in the carnage he has created. Tequila, bleeding to death from deep lacerations all across her body. The stained glass window is smashed to pieces. So, he made her write a song of jealousy that made her hit notes so high, I guess it shattered the glass and killed yeah. her. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I, I, the twist has got to be this guy's like related to us or something. Or he is us. Grayson, Red. It really wasn't a party until those two got here. Yeah, like we're too, it seems like we're too important to be just the priest that married them. Yeah. Grayson really is such a complete scoundrel, but my God, he's fun, or he was at least. Red would really have done anything for him because they were lovers. Yes. I'm almost certain that it would have been, it would be so much more painful if Grayson had gone second and Red had to watch him die first. Oh, so Red died first because uh, he got electrocuted, right? Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Yes, perhaps I'll change this one. So they would, so he would have switched it to spikes first and then electrocution second or something like that. Oh my God, that's oh. so sad. Whoa, 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 frame rate, hello? Mm. All right, it's just gonna have to suffer for a bit. What kind of maniac imagines torturing a man in this way? Maybe because there's too much going on. He gave his own life to try to save That's Grayson. So Aw, these two. Wow. Frame rate, are you okay? All right, let's just move on. There we go. Holy cow. We can't even see, um... Uh, Thanos. Want Thanos, yeah. Ah, Orem. Oh, that's why. This is horrible. I smelted him down in a furnace like a big gold bar. Wow, this guy's just a pun guy, huh? You, thought, you think this is funny? My mansion has many strange and wonderful creations, but a lift that doubled as an incinerator, that would have been something. I like to think that if Orm were able to choose how he went, then perhaps he would have chosen something like this. Oh my god. Though, in a way, he almost did. Huh? Okay, I guess it's like a secret about reality that we don't know about yet. Mm. Wait, how are we gonna see Thanos? Are they both in there? Oh, Thanos is all the way down. Oh, so maybe we maybe. teleport to him after- Because he only said Orem just now. There's a small hope that his heart gave out before oh. he burned to death. Oh my god. The fire blasts from the furnace. Oh my god. Jesus! Uh. Oh, here he oh is. My god. Thanos. What a mind to waste. It wasn't, it wasn't this mansion that he built, you know? There are similar works of architectural genius all over the country. Wow. He was a grouchy and often tiresome old man, but that mind was like a cracked diamond. At least his works will live on. Well, Boone, you have heard my confession. As I said, I am a murderer. This is not a brag or a boast. I am not good or clever for it. I am sinful and gross. I have killed everyone in this mansion. But there's one person who didn't die. I, oh, I'm trying to figure out what is happening, but I... Okay, let's look at him. Thanos' body is charred to a crisp. The furnace cooked him through. Oh my gosh. This beautiful golden elevator is the connection between the horror upstairs and the madness down here. Wait, why could it be peak? Oh no, I should have tried. One man who survived the, the events of the day here. 
who woke up in a broken body with a broken mind. Us? They put a mask on his face and a machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand. Wait, 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 wait. Himself? Wait, wait, wait. I, I can't put it together yet. If what the man in the gold mask says is true, then the mask is a breathing aid? Who are the staff here? Robots. They're robots, my man. I keep forgetting to peek! <laughs> It's a person, though. It's a person that was brought back to life, you know? uh, Yeah. Or not brought back to life, brought back from the edge. A, a criminal? A man who served his time, but time that could never be enough. Please, stop with the cryptic hints. Just tell us. I'm too dumb to put this together right now. Is it us? Hey, we can actually... We can just look through for no reason. Can we do this? We can. Aww. Whoever was in this cell... They must have been here for years upon years for a tree to grow this large. Huh. Okay. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Boone. Yourself or me. <laughs> I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. This horrible nightmare day. What? What is going on? Ooh, we never did open these doors. Okay. Ooh, we gotta choose which one. Heaven or hell. The answer will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. Your, your Lucas. She as in Eleanor, your wife. What is going on? Oh my God, I'm one getting person, chills. One, so who did time? Is the the time being done him like? Huh? You know how he said there's a, there's one man who survived and that that man, that person is had done time here as a criminal. I... A criminal being him, he's the murderer or a criminal before the fire was actually a criminal in real life and was survived the fire. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, we need a way to open this, right? Is there a secret? Just the ring or how do we do this? Oh, the blue flames died. Oh, hi there. Hey, don't mind. What, heck, uh -huh. are you serious? Okay, and there's a dude in here too, right? I forget. Uh, hello? Hi, thank you. Oh, we can go through mirrors too. Ooh. Oh, I can't peek. <coughs> do we want to go around the mansion? Like, just is this like the things? finale? You're right. Should we look at the map? What? Okay, okay, wait. So, huh. There's a Where's guy that? in there. Oh, he just walked in. Okay. Okay, wait. What are some loose ends? The only loose ends we would need to tie up is going around the rooms and like remembering them, right? Yeah. Otherwise, I think we've like pretty much gotten everything. Wow, this is weird. We can see everybody's movements now. Hold on. Where is the rest of the map? There's some here. Nobody's down here. Oh! What were these two doing? I don't know. Hmm. Wow, this is interesting. We can see everyone now. The chapel is so separate. Yeah. It doesn't connect. I don't remember. At all. I don't remember how to get there. There's also a room that we haven't accessed here. In the chapel? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's the final area. How would how do I don't remember what connects to there? I don't see a staircase. We were just teleported out. Whoa, maybe that's where like the super final event's gonna happen. We should just go, yeah? I don't think there's anything okay. else we can do right now. Why Other is it like than... there are two doors? Oh. oh, okay, that's why I didn't get it either. We still haven't been able to interact with these funny thingies. You're right, unless they're just for kicks. Yeah, and randomly marked on the map for no All particular the reason. Tables right? With candles. A winding key. Or the chapel. Whoa, oh. we're going! Huh? What did I pick up? Oh, seven of clubs. That was a giant seven of clubs. Yeah. I was like, that must be like a door or something. Wait, are we here? We're here! Oh. oh, so that door over there connects to the heaven or hell place. Okay. Hello? I want to peek. That guy's... Wait. That guy's get. That's where the gun is. Okay, I've okay. got the orientation. It's like switched now. The orientation. Where? Or no, it did look like this, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Wait. Do we just want to go to the chapel? Let's fix the clock. Oh. 
Uh, wait, that's not the right way, is it? That's. I think that is the right way. Okay. Oh my gosh, here we are. We're at the beginning. Was this clock always here? Maybe remember. it was, and we could just we just couldn't Maybe interact could with it or something. Okay, well, we're here now. Maybe this time around we'll see ourselves, because we're supposed to be here with Reginald. Okay, well, I don't think we need this, but... You promised me, okay. Uh, here, go for it. Oh, this can't be happening. Lucas, oh. what have you done? Should we see him at the very beginning? Lucas! There's the guy. Wait, oh. So we already, we we already know we this know part. This. Should we go through that door you said that we haven't gone through yet? Wait. No, that, that just leads back to the heaven or hell area. Oh, that, that one right there? Pretty sure that's where we came in from. I'll double check. I'll double check. Oh, you're right. I think that's where we came that in from. That is where we came yeah. in from. Yeah. Do we just watch it? What do they want us to do in here? Yeah, I don't know. There aren't any... I don't... What's in here? Um, <laughs> nothing. Oh, can we use a... What? Use what? Oh, uh, that guy's powers. Which guy's powers? That, the one that you just used. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Fish. Uh, I guess we can just look around really quick. And room every place. Oh, yeah. Oh, every all... single room? Every single one? Can you do that in every room? Seems like this, this, is, this place is full of important rooms or something. Okay. Okay, so this doesn't do anything. This hallway doesn't do anything. I guess we could just really quickly do this. Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, this is painful. What? I guess we can just reset time in a second. We've got so much time. Oh, we can take his inv invitation. <laughs> <laughs> we never walked in here after he died. There we go. Okay. Crumbs? Uh, communion wafers have been kept here. Hey! There's a ghost! Oh! Here, let's talk to him. We've never gotten a chance to do this. We have not. Yeah, because we didn't have access in here until after. So we talk at last. It's been a long road for you. All to come back here. Take this. And I'll play on. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's been close all along, you know. M uh, Mr. Sixpence, that is. Just got a bit mixed up. This place does that to you. Anything else you say? Huh. Did we just need that to... The card? Yeah. Do we have enough cards for the card bridge? Oh! We can check. 45 out of 52! <laughs> Do we seriously have to collect the rest of the cards? Wait, is that all we need to do here? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna reset time and just catch the very beginning. You said 45 out of 52? 52, yeah. So we're missing some. Did you already write them all? <gasps> you have a neat little chart, I like that. One, two. There were three that I didn't write down. And then... Uh oh. But I mean, well, we know the amount that we have at the very least. We may not know which symbols, but. There, okay, there's gotta be previous areas that we need to visit. I'm gonna really quickly look at the um the descriptions of this room. Um, okay. Who knows what schemes were hatched here in the smoky haze of the Marquis's most personal in oh, inner sanctum, I see. What greatness was planned, what madness was plotted. Lucas and his uncle-in-law, Sixpence, would often sit here together here. Why is that in quotation marks? I don't know, so if that's the case, Eleanor's uncle is Sixpence. Is Sixpence, so the bloodied girl is, is Eleanor. Eleanor. Okay, okay, okay. And and Lucas and Eleanor are married. They're a married okay. couple. Okay. Okay. Long into the evening, discussing the future for their families. What ambitions did these two discuss? What dreams did they dare realize together? Realize. The places where events occur, both tragedies and triumphs, are often recorded. But what of the humble spaces where the ideas first take seed? 
The Marquis had many secrets and many expenses. An enormous amount of effort went into making the running of the mansion appear effortless, but none of it came without cost. This room was where the unofficial versions of official documents were kept. A beauty parlor for accounts where numbers were massaged and rules were, were relaxed. Grayson Grayson himself constructed the safe in this room, utterly uncrackable to anyone without the code. It kept the truth at the heart of the affluent seeming mansion hidden away from prying eyes. The most nondescript of nondescript rooms. Please relax and take the weight off. There really is nothing to take note of here. Most people would likely have completely forgotten ever having seen this room if they ever did see it in the first place. Would you even recognize it from this angle? Perhaps you caught a peek, just a glimpse of a hint, once before or long ago. Does it feel like a lifetime has passed since then? For some, it certainly does. The room itself may not be important or noteworthy, but perhaps we should see if what's the other side jogs our memories. Okay, one more. A hunter in his misguided youth, the Marquis came to ab abhor the concept as he matured. He kept his trophies as a reminder of the man he no longer wished to be, feeling guilty and sorrow, the guilt and sor sorrow whenever he looked upon them. In this way, he was able to remind himself of who she had been, and in turn, who he never wanted to become again. His wife discouraged him from visiting this room, not wanting him to cause himself unnecessary suffering, but exposing himself to the grief and pain was the only thing he believed gave so many unnecessary deaths at his hand had meaning. Wait. Oh, oh, the, the hunting. Got it. I... We can unlock the safe! Okay, wait. So me reading all that actually... <laughs> um, helped. Helped, yeah. Wait. That... Did I... Do I just get the cartridge? Oh! What wait, what? Who, whose invitation is this? Wait, what? Is it our invitation? This is this? Yeah, I I don't I don't usually read them, but I wanted to. Ah, it's Grayson's. Let's see. After his stay in prison, voluntary, I could have always picked the lock. The Marquis contacted Grayson and requested he provide security for the mansion. He did so in spades, kickstarting a security business at the same time. The Marquis liked to tease Grayson about his past and would purchase items of great value to hide in the mansion, including it seems the treasure that Grayson was arrested for after going after in the first place. Wow, what a cheeky relationship. Oh, and okay, Reggie's, we, we got off of it. Okay, we'll read all this later. That's so funny. We that we would have never found his invitation had we not cracked open this safe. Are you serious? <clears throat> Sorry, oh, he's coming I'm, in here. I'm looking at... Um, What's up? There is a... I'm looking at cards that we could get. <laughs> oh, do we need them? Does it say if we need them? Also, we're coming at the end of the episode. Uh, we can quickly talk about this card business and what our next step is going to be. Okay. Because all we got from here was an invitation and a card. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, can we get you to get out of here real quick? Can we, can we get you to get out of here? Okay, great. Because, okay, this definitely leads back towards the heaven or hell place. Okay. Like, he said, come look for me here. That's what he said. So maybe, like, we need to fi find him. Find some kind of truth in, in the, the chapel. chapel. Like, something that we haven't seen. Cause, okay. Yeah, he specifically said, come find me here. Okay. So... What, what else is there? Do we break the mosaic glass in the chapel? Oh! That's not... That did, I mean, it's not it an present. option, but like that that's kind of an interesting thought. Do we... Is um, there a mirror that we can walk through? Was there a mirror? Let's see. We can check the map. Oops. Okay. Markers. Only the tables with the X's. And that's okay. it. And that's it? That's it. And, and the candle, candle, which we lit. Oh, he's already here. Reggie's already in there. Oh, I want to try more stuff already at the end of the episode. We should save this for later. Wait, he's searching for something at that? Well, it's not there, so so we must not find anything of significance if we go there. You promised me. Ha. Huh. Okay, we're going to have to save this for the next episode. I'm at the edge of my seat. I want to figure out what's <laughs> going on here, but we're going to have to save too. it for next time. Join us then. We'll, we'll come up with a plan before then. So we'll see you next time. This is Axis. This is Doey. Over, Over and out. out.